This is Stephanie with Hightower Stitching, and today I want to talk about the cathedral window pattern and doing this by hand. I'm going to start with an 8 inch cathedral window, my template, and it's square. And then you're going to have a 2 inch squares for your centers. I'm going to start with my 8 inch square. I'm going to take and iron down about a fourth of an inch on each side. Once I get that done, then I want to take and fold it in half and lightly press it, open it up, turn it, and lightly press it again in half. And then you'll be ready to start. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by taking this point and bring it into the middle, and this point and bring it into the middle. And I've got a long piece of thread knotted, and I'm going to take and sort of stitch this in place just a little bit. Once I get that, I'm going to turn it. I'm going to pull the other two corners in to the center and tack them in place. And here you can see where I've got the tack in the middle. And I've already done something to this side, but I want to show you what I did to this side. I, and my black thread is used just for you to be able to see it. I wouldn't use black thread. So tack it, and then do a running stitch that catches these two parts that were folded next to each other. And you'll go all the way out to the end. And then you're going to gently take and fold it back to the middle. and tack it in place. And all this can be done without having to knot a thread if you start with a long enough thread. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here and I'm going to use small stitches, a little running stitch, and then go all the way out to the corners. Okay? When I get all finished with that, I'm going to have a block it looks like this is square. And I go ahead and I put an extra little stitch up here at the corner. You have to do that separately each time. Just sort of to hold that point together so it looks so it's easy to see. Then I take two of my blocks and put them together. And I'm going to do a running seam again just to catch those top pieces of fabric all the way down to the end. And when I get there, don't knot off again. Then you open it up and lay it down. And it looks real pretty, but this is going to be covered up. So you're going to take your two inch piece and you're going to lay it in the center. And what's neat, this is all done by hand except for that first part. So you can just put it in a basket or bag and carry it with you if you go somewhere like on a trip or somewhere. All right, once you get that in there, this is where your the little part starts. It's so cute. You take and you pull it over, and I just hold on to it and mash it with my thumb. And where I've got my thread up here at the top, I'm going to come down and catch a little bit of that fabric, and then go down into the other. Now, and it doesn't matter how much you get, the back side, if you're going to have it for a quilt, you probably just want to catch those top stitches. But if you're going to make it into a pillow, you could go all the way through if you wanted to. And you'll go all the way down to the next corner. And when you get to the next corner, you're just going to turn it. And you will have stitched most of the way and turn the next piece under. And do a whip stitch there and then go on down and go around and pretty soon you've gone all the way around and you will have finished your first part. So then you add on your next piece and your next piece. And usually I do it in a row and then I take a row and and uh, put the row together.